Tomo News presents Stage Performances Gone Wrong. And now we'll just move this over. Oh! oh! <laughs> Oops! Cirque du Soleil advertises its performance of Ka as a spectacular tale that defies the laws of gravity. The illusion was shattered Saturday night when a talented acrobatic artist fell tragically to her death during a performance in Las Vegas. The performer, 31-year-old Sarah gallard Guillot, was taking part in the final dramatic battlefield scene of the show's famed vertical stage when reports say she somehow slipped from her wire. She fell about 50 feet into the pit below. It was the first onstage death Cirque has experienced in its 30-year history. Cirque's performance of Ka is famous for its hydraulic-controlled stage and its wheel of death. Gayard Guillot, a mother of two, was part of the show's original cast since 2006 and has been an acrobatic performer for more than 20 years. Founder of Cirque du Soleil, Guy Laliberté, expressed his sympathies to the artist family, saying he was heartbroken, adding that we are reminded with great humility and respect how extraordinary our artists are each and every night. Sex show at Hull University stirs up debate. As you can see, some of these dares got pretty hot and steamy. The competition started out with an innocent cracker-eating challenge, but quickly devolved into an X-rated show. The host of the event, DJ Lee Watson, urged contestants to remove bras, swap clothes, and simulate sex. At one point, the crowd chanted, SLAG! at one of the participants. The DJ then shouted, Cheer if you wanna f*** this girl! A game of musical chairs with a sexual twist had some attendees cheering, while others walked out in disgust. The winner of the competition happened to be the only one who agreed to strip on stage. A spokeswoman for Hull Students' Union admitted that the event was in bad taste. DJ Watson has been banned from performing at future events. What do you think? Is the university responsible for keeping students sober and fully clothed? Do you think this DJ should be allowed to make a living by getting drunk people to shout, Who's your daddy? into a microphone? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Korean girl group Crayon Pop rest on stage. The Korean girl singing group Crayon Pop recently performed at an event in Korea. It was there that a crazy fan wearing a hoodie decided to go on stage in Hakua, a member of the group. What's worse, he had a creepy smile on his face the entire time. Security pulled him off the stage immediately. This wasn't the only time such celebrities has been attacked by crazy fans. Two years ago, the pop group Girls' Generation was performing when one weirdo rushed up to one member and dragged her away. Fortunately, another member of the group and the host of the van stopped him. This next case is equally freaky. In February, this model was being filmed for a show when a stranger ran to the studio and tried to approach her. Luckily, the host stepped in to protect her. Rapper George Watsky was performing in London on the Warp Tour when he got caught up in the moment. The 27-year-old rapper fell a whopping 35 feet into the concrete, but he was mostly okay because a couple of people in the crowd broke his fall. The three had to be stretchered out, and now one guy is in the hospital with an injured back and a gal has a broken arm. The rapper wrote on his Facebook page that he was super sorry for what he did and that it was stupid and wildly irresponsible, plain and simple. He added that he visited the victims of his stupidity at the hospital, which was pretty decent of him. Watsky said he will finish out the last six shows on the tour, but promises not to jump off anything. Afro Man gets arrested, and surprisingly, it wasn't because he got high. 
Afro man, best known for the hit single Because I Got High, is no longer rapping about Colt 45s and two zigzags. He was seen attempting to play guitar at his Biloxi, Mississippi show. But that wasn't the only shocker he had for his fans. When one woman hopped on stage to dance, Afro Man did something that nobody expected. Yes, you just saw Afro Man sock that poor woman in the smoke hole. He then continues with the guitar solo like nothing happened. The girl eventually stands up and some dude jumps up from the front row to assist her. Afro Man says something to the man, but our lip reading abilities are about as good as his guitar skills. Police arrested Afro Man, real name Joseph Foreman, on assault charges. He was released on a $330 bond. Afro Man apologized for what his representative called a completely involuntary reflex. He told TMZ that he mistook the girl for a male heckler who had been shouting at him throughout the show. Hmm. Ventilation shaft caves in during concert in South Korea, killing 16. At least 16 people died on Friday evening after a ventilation shaft collapsed at a concert in South Korea. A provincial agency was holding a concert at the Pongyo Techno Valley in Seongnam on Friday. About 700 people were watching several bands perform, including the popular girl band 4 Minute. About 20 to 30 people stood on top of a ventilation shaft to get a better view. The shaft, which was connected to an underground parking area, could not withstand the weight and broke apart. The group fell about 10 meters through the grate. 12 people died at the scene, and several others died at the hospital. Authorities said the death toll is likely to rise. Rock singer dies after being electrocuted on stage. The lead singer of a rising Argentinian rock band died after being electrocuted on stage during an opening set to promote its first album. 21-year-old Augustine Briolini, lead singer and guitarist, was getting ready to perform with the Krebs at Teatro de Sol on Sunday night. That's when Briolini went to test the mic before their opening set. Officials are still investigating the cause, but initial reports said faulty wiring on the microphone caused it to malfunction. As Briolini was testing the mic, he received a massive electrical shock to the head. Medical personnel rushed and tried to revive Briolini, but after an hour with no success, he was transported to a local hospital where he was declared dead. His fellow band members said they couldn't believe what happened on stage or that their friend was dead. Comic attacked on stage by a man with swinging metal baseball bat. You might have expected it to have been a heckler, but the attack that left Seattle area comedian Dylan Avila with a horrific double skull fracture came from another comic. Well, wannabe comic. Avila, a 36-year-old father of three, was doing his thing on Monday at Renton's local 907, where he hosts an open mic. That's when Steve Baldwin, not this Steve Baldwin, but this one, a disgruntled amateur comic, jumped on stage wielding an aluminum baseball bat and started swinging. The brutal attack fractured the Villa's skull in two places, along its left ear and the back of his head. Baldwin attempted to leg it, but fellow audience members and comics managed to help apprehend him. The 48-year-old had previously been banned from the club because of a series of reportedly unfunny and offensive performances involving the Bible and sex toys. Baldwin has since been jailed, and unless there's open mics in county, is unlikely to give stand-up another shot anytime soon. Stage collapses during high school musical. may run the world, but they have yet to prove able to defy gravity, especially en masse. So learned the 250 Rosary High School girls who crammed onto the old rickety-ass stage at Servite High, a nearby boys' school, Saturday night. It was the annual Gold and Red Rally performance and the ladies were jamming to Beyonce's tune, like way into it, and then this happened. One more time in slow motion. 
And now from another angle. They fell straight through into the pit 10 feet below. The good news is that of the 24 students requiring hospital attention, no one was seriously injured, the worst injuries were broken bones, and everyone is home now. An investigation has been launched into the cause of the collapse, most likely to confirm the obvious that it's a pretty bad idea to let 250 teenage girls stomp in rhythm on an old high school stage. Rapper Danny Brown's fans have shown they really know how to get down after one groupie went down on the MC during a recent show in Minneapolis. According to multiple witnesses, Brown was rocking the crowd as a number of women close to the stage were getting a little gropey. One groupie in the front row bared her breasts and Brown took the opportunity to grab a handful. Witnesses say Brown then took out his piece and the girl began to perform oral sex as the MC continued rapping. Amazed fans later said he didn't miss a beat. So impressed was fellow rapper Kendrick Lamar, he took to Twitter to express his admiration. The Black Brad Pitt certainly has fans' tongues wagging. Chinese choir falls five meters when stage collapses. Eight members of an 80-group choir group were rushed to the hospital after a stage collapsed beneath them during practice in the city of Beijing in China's Guizhou province on Saturday afternoon. The choir, made up of local police officials, was practicing for a singing contest in tribute to the Chinese Dream, a slogan promoted by President Xi Jinping to promote his vision for Chinese society. Members of the audience were stunned when the stage collapsed in mid-song, sending the entire choir plummeting five meters to the ground. The contest has since been canceled, and two of the eight choir members rushed to the hospital sustained relatively severe injuries, according to Xinhua, the official Chinese news agency. The cause of the collapse is still under investigation. Michael Bay implodes at Samsung press conference. Samsung execs made a great decision paying blockbuster movie director Michael Bay a ridiculous amount of money to promote their new curved UHD TVs at the Samsung CES press conference in Vegas. Bay was able to get a sentence out before a teleprompter glitch caused him to fluff his lines. After several periods of awkward silence, it became too much for Bay to handle, so he ran off stage. How hard is it to make up some stuff about a huge curved TV? Bay was probably waiting for some huge explosions and some slow-mo of hot girls who can't act to come to his rescue. Does Bay have to put up with similar behavior at work? Guess Samsung should just go back to having hot girls standing in front of their stuff. <laughs> 